Welcome to Let's Get Dumb, the podcast where I, comedian Joe Kilgallen, and comedian Jonah Jerkins like to ask dumb questions, tell dumb stories, and just have a dumb old time with you. Jonah, how are you? I'm great, Joe. How are you? Awesome, man. I feel like you're trying to change up every way in which you answer that question, and I love you for that. I want to start off the podcast first with an apology to the listeners. This episode is coming out a day late, Uh a buck short. We're writing our report. That's a Blink-182 reference for all the old fucks who listen to this podcast. Anyhow, um, a little bit late. We've got some good reason, though, for it. I don't think they're old fucks. I just think they're old bitches. Blink-182 fans? No. Have you seen Blink-182 Live? I heard they're great. Incredible. One of the best concerts I've ever seen. No, all those pop punk bands are fantastic live. Insane. So, uh, but I was going to say we have a good, and also I like some early Blink-22, you know, Mm -hmm. but I was going to say that we have a good reason for, (laughs) bless you. Thank you. Can we take that again? No, we will not. (laughs) Fucking time. Uh, We're running up against it here, buddy. We got, we had a specific topic we wanted to tackle because we talked about it last week. Yes. And then everyone's plans got mixed up and, and pushed around. And shout out to Chris Bader, who's been a list of, a guest on this a podcast. Guest on the podcast. Uh, awesome stand-up comedian. Everyone check mm-hmm. out Chris Bader's uh, Instagram page. It's hilarious. He has a podcast as well called Austin. What's the name of the podcast? Uh, Chris and Kyle Explores the Universe. With, Chris and Kyle Explores the Universe. Chris, Chris, Chris Bader universe. and Kyle Scanlon, who also has been on the podcast. Yeah, yes, Scanlon's also funny. been a guest on the podcast. Bader uh, so kindly and generously hooked up myself, you, mm-hmm. comedians Clark Jones, and comedian Jonah Jonah, Joe, Joe you're, Fernandez. You're, you're looking at I'm me. looking at you. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So Fernandez, Jones, me, and you. Um, we got to go to a Bulls game and sit in like this yeah. private sweet thing. That was super sweet. All you could eat, and all you could drink. So it was really fucking awesome. Yeah. I haven't ordered a couple of drinks where I'm like, I've never had that. And normally I wouldn't what, what, risk what it. What was that? Um, I had this, well, I had Johnny Walker Red before. I've got that, and then yeah. I tried that. Fernandez was getting this Woodridge whiskey, so I gave I ordered one of those too. Yeah, Woodford. And I t- Woodford. Yeah, I was. I only took a couple sips. It's good. And what's nice about being in a sweet word so you could drink? It's like, yeah, well, I don't need shit. to finish it. Yeah, yeah, right. I, um, it, so, uh, it was funny about that is like this was the four of us, and um, I'll say the name Joe Fernandez. You know when you when you do like a sweet. Which, you know, we don't get to do very often, and it's very nice of Chris to do that. But you kind of have to act like you've been there before. <laughs> and it was insane where uh, our one friend was just like, oh, my God, this is so... Im-. Like, it was just oh, like... <laughs> like, he was like, real silverware. It was, you know, it was like... I was like, I was like Joe, I was like, you're almost 40, man. You got to act like you've been here before. And he, and he basically was like, hey, he was like, um, do I need to clean this up for us like he was asking if he, if we need to clean the the table he, he bust his own table yeah yeah, yeah. it's fucking hilarious and um, i was like joe these tickets are worth thousands of dollars shut your fucking mouth man that You're did crack me, me up when he's like this is all free like he said it out loud. <laughs> yeah. he came off like um the uncle in home alone when he's riding first class yeah i thought he was gonna do that to yeah. one of us and silver. um yeah, it was, dude, shout out to the United Center where the Bulls and Blackhawks play right. here in the great city of Chicago. They really do it up well, but I do have one complaint. Is it about the server? I had to poop. No, she oh. was fine. She was great. I had to poop, and um, which will segue nicely into the next uh-huh. thing we're talking about. Single ply fucking toilet paper in the <laughs> really? goddamn suites. Yeah. Like insanely thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars mm-hmm. these tickets were. And when I went to go shit, the bathroom looked lovely, you but the toilet paper shit. was single ply. I had to, man. Yeah, I even said to you guys, "I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go shit in the United yeah, Center. Yeah, yeah. I'm shitting where champions play. Yeah. Michael Jordan won three rings in this building. Yeah, you know. But uh, it was a great experience and all that kind of stuff. Great uh, game. Yeah, fucking wonderful comeback, yeah. man. Um, our, overtime thriller. They yeah. won. Our server that was helping our suite was a little over sherry. I would say she was going through a lot. She's a sick cat. She's a way. sick cat. <laughs> And how do we know about that? She mentioned it every fucking time. Immediately told us. She had a syringe feed her cat. So my story about that is, so Clark Jones, who's with us, incredible comedian, but he was like, man, we need to take a a drink every time she overshares or says where her other job is. And she was talking to me and kind of like where you're at, you know, visually right now for me, Joe, like you were in my peripheral. So like that's where Clark was. And every time she would share something, I would see him look at me and take a drink and then she's being serious about her dying cat, but I am laughing at her face because I'm laughing at Clark. And it's yeah. just like, stop doing that to me because it looks like I'm laughing at her poor story. But it's just like, you know, you, you're a great server. You're incredible, very attentive, but I don't need to know about that. It was a lot of oversharing. And I remember when she first said, uh, I have a very sick cat at home. I remember thinking... You didn't need to say that, and I would have guessed that. Right. She just had sick cat at home vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? She did, yeah. Um, but lovely lady, and you know, you're right. She kept talking about the other place she works a lot. Right. And Clark, very funny. 
<laughs> he said to her, like toward the end of the game, we're yeah. like, like, I think the game just finished. I'm above like, you guys when this happens. Yeah, too. I remember I felt you laughing behind me. Well, no, because I, I, so then Clark goes, uh, where do you work again? And she says, and then I lowered my drink to Clark while she's doing it for him to take. Because the... he knew the answer. Yeah. But he's, his acting was perfect. Oh, it was Clark so needs good. To get cast in more things. I was like, how did you not? It was wonderful acting on his end. Um, Incredible. Uh, before we get into the main story, which is what we teased from last week's podcast, which Speaking is of being me teased. recapping my uh, colonoscopy that I had. We're recording this Wednesday night, and I had the colonoscopy uh, Monday afternoon. So we'll get that to that in a second. When, but when first, you say recap, I like the idea that we actually have like play-by-play video. Yeah. Let's, let's, we are like, <laughs> let's go to the big board. <laughs> let's go to the big board. I took a sip, and I wish you would have talked just then. That way it wasn't dead air. But anyhow, um, what... Well, you see someone taking a sip. You can't just stare at them and watch them drink. It's I, an audio platform, my man. Uh, I know that, but I finished. I finished my thought, and then it's you were in the middle of talking, and then you took your drink in the middle of a sentence. I I, I already had the drink out as right. I finished the thought. So I you to like? I mean, mouth. you don't need. But real to. quick though, you're a human being who could talk. You don't do. I do. You always have to have me tee it up for you. Uh, no, I was done with my thought. All right, I, I didn't mean to make it a thing, but I remember thinking as I'm taking a sip, he should fucking talk right now. Uh-huh. All right, great. So, um I Let's have, talk about that a little no, longer. No, let's not. Um I have uh so I have a special that you opened for mm-hmm. called Good Grief that mm-hmm. I launched in December on a new comedy platform called punchup.live. It's a great thing. I really I hope everyone goes there. But I also thought I need to get this YouTube market. I came up with an idea in which I would have taken the, the special's close to an hour. I cut it down to like 32 minutes. And I released that this morning on YouTube Uh and I renamed it life and death. It's essentially about life and death, right? It used to be called good grief. It was called good grief, but Netflix just dropped a movie called good grief. Uh, And I found another comedian had a special called good grief like three years ago. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, that's a little too cluttered with the good grief phrase. So I called it life and death. It is now available, everyone, on YouTube. You go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Joe Kilgallen. I'd greatly appreciate it. Some of you are like, hey, I already watched when it was on Punch Up. Open it up. Click on it. Hit play and just mute your computer or your phone. <laughs> Let that fucker run. Uh, it would help me out uh, tremendously. It's, uh, I really think it looks awesome. And that way, if you still want the full special, I'm thinking the YouTube audience, mm-hmm. if they like the 32 minutes or so and they want to see more, they could go over to Punch Up. I also have other specials on YouTube, a whole wealth of content that I would greatly appreciate you all checking out. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about the big thing. Did you want to add something to that? I do. Oh, it felt like you did. So what I want to say is this, is that a lot of complaints from you was that I interrupt you a lot. And the thing is, <laughs> is that I'm not interrupting you as much, and um, I stopped doing that. So when you were spe- start, starting to speak, even though I knew you were grabbing that drink, which you just did right now, which I talked through it, I thought that you were going to say something. So I was trying to be attentive and not interrupt you. Can I apologize to you then? Yes, you can. Let me apologize. The reason I'm taking so many drinks, uh, Austin, our producer, so uh, generously provided us a spread of food upstairs. Right. And I... He ate like four slices of pizza very quickly. Right. And the crumbs of the crust are right. rattling around in my throat. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of like, I need more sips here because it's fucking up my throat as I speak. Uh-huh. Now, um, you're right. You have done. Which isn't walk- very professional. No, it's not. Okay. And you have done a, you have not been interrupting nearly as much. And mm-hmm. I also have not criticized you very much. Well, so let's go back to the just now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what my point is. And last week. What did I criticize you for last week? When I asked oh, you about the, the 2 a.m. 2 p.m. Thing? thing. Yeah. Austin made a clip of that that we're going to post tomorrow, by the way. Yeah. No, that was necessary. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, dude. I, said, I, sta- I stand by my question. No, because if you would have just let me finish, it's obvious what the time is. Uh-huh. That, so when I criticize you, I said you have to trust the person telling the story. Right. Which is what you kind of do have to do a little bit. Maybe. Because sometimes you're just too quick for the question. Yeah, because I'm listening so intently. I'm very intrigued. No, I I, I understand that, but yeah. keep listening because I'll I give you the fucking answer. That's complaints I have with girlfriends where they like you interrupt me all the time. I'm like, no, I'm listening so intently that I'm just reacting to well, what you're saying. They're thinking, oh, you know, um, I had this wonderful dinner the other night. And then you're like, where was it? And they're like, yeah, I'm going to get to that. I wouldn't ask that question. That's a stupid question. That's what if, I don't know. That. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> well, we both we both learned something just now. Okay. Hey, and Joe. We, we live and we learn. I'm sorry for my part. I'm more sorry than you are <laughs> because it's more on me this time. I, right. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm the most sorry. Dude, I could if I were fucking like I'm the Michael Jordan of sorry, right? You now. are? I'm the goat of sorry. You oh couldn't be God. I'm so sorry they're I'm gonna the make Bob a ten part documentary about it. <laughs> are they? Yeah. What's gonna be called the sorry? 
It's called the last sorry. Because <laughs> that's, the only, sorry yeah, 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 that's the, the only sorry. Yeah, that's the only sorry. Yeah, Joe's like, I give out one sorry per, per per friend. And yours is up, my man. There we go. I had to mm-hmm. check the watch for that. So, uh, had the colonoscopy yesterday. Big procedure. Yeah, put under for that. You were telling me you get put under for that. Like all the way under, or like oh. are you kind of like? No, you're out, man. I was out. Is that scary? Uh, that scares the shit out of me. Being put under. I was. I don't know why our producer's laughing at that because that is a very scary thing to be thought to be put under. I don't like being forced to sleep. That is. Have you been put under before? No, never. So this is my first time. As an adult, never. As a child, yes. Yeah. So this is my first time being like put under, and they Did you use... do the, the the count backwards thing. No, why they the didn't fuck do is that. he still laughing? He's laughing because I know why he's laughing. Um, why? What did I say? Did I fuck up words again? <laughs> You've interrupted me like three fucking times. <laughs> Counted five interruptions after you guys had an argument about. Hey, I haven't interrupted you while you interrupted. You got five. I got five three. times. Well, we're building together. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing. That funny. It almost seemed like a bit. I thought you were doing a bit. I would never do a bit. Was it scary? Did they put you under all the way? Well, I yeah. think it's scary. I think yeah. real scary. Like, yeah. It's, uh... Well, because I want to talk. I'm very excited about talking this because it's, it's right, very well, look, scary I'll to me. I'll start from scratch now and, and tell you about it. So here's what they do with the colonoscopy, right? What do they do? I, I got to go back. That's, that was <laughs> that me. Was that was me. That was obviously yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that was obviously a bit. So let's go back a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that you do this prep. I couldn't eat for two days, dude. Jesus. So I was just water, Gatorade, um, chicken broth you could do. Mm-hmm. But it, I... I thought when I first was told that was the process, I was like, I could do that. Right. No problem. It was so difficult because for whatever reason, the world, the universe knew I was starving. Uh-huh. And every time I open up any social media app, it's like, bam, best looking food you've ever seen. And it was just like, and everyone, every time I looked at someone they were eating and it was like, I'm starving to death. Can I take a stab here? You're cranky when you're hungry. Oh, I'm, I get hangry, my man. <laughs> and so uh, that was rough. And then you got to drink all this stuff that essentially makes it so that you are pissing out of your asshole and it's coming out the way you ever get a fountain drink at a movie theater where you hit the button and it comes Mm -hmm. out. That's what it sounded like coming out of my ass. So it's not like butt puke. It's like butt pee. It's butt pee. It's straight pee. And, um, and and you have to get it to the point where it comes out clear. So when you look in the toilet bowl, it looks like you peed weird. It starts Brown. And then the more you take it, cause you're cleansing that fucking colon, right? Brown shit. Yeah, brown shit. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Jonah, the idea where guy, I'm like, Ryan's black. Is you that drink bad? so much. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, you have to go through all that hell. Uh, and I couldn't, you know, eat for like two and a half days. It was almost. That's insane. The, yeah, so how a, many calories were you taking in? I wasn't ca- keeping track of that at all. Okay. I, I mean, I was nervous about passing out. So of that's course. when you brought up the whole, was I nervous about being put under thing? I, I was like a week or two ago, but at the time going into it, uh, when they put the IV in, I hate any kind of like needles going into me, so I don't love that. Um, I talked to my wife to distract myself from that. Excuse me. And then um, did she uh, show you her boobs? No, we just had a conversation. Oh, okay, Jonah. And so uh, as we're getting, as I'm getting like carted in, I remember just being like, "All right, I'm so I'm just so weak with hunger. Yeah, I was so weak two days. that I felt like a child could beat the shit out of me because I, I didn't have food in two days. Right, yeah. I'm star. I didn't sleep that great either, and." Um, because the thing you have to drink is so nasty tasting, too. Really? It's just fucking horrible, dude. I would rather drink Malort the rest of my life than this stuff. This stuff it, makes Malort taste like the greatest drink of all, all time. Well, I mean, Malort tastes good, so okay. I don't... So, um, but while I'm getting wheeled in, they set me up and they put some oxygen thing in there. And then I remember, um, you know, they had the thing put in to, for the IV. And she told me, she's like, all right, lay on your left side. And then, I, you know, I'm laying on my left side and she's like, oh, let me fix the pillow. So I plucked up the pillow. So I'm like, man, I'm actually insanely comfortable right now. <laughs> and then before I knew it, she was just like, all right, take just take a couple deep breaths. And I was like, <sighs> and I was out. And you just woke up. Fucking and out. You dream? And then I woke I fucking felt like I dreamt a little bit. It just feels like you're just so, uh, you know what they give you? It's fentanyl. They yeah. give you fentanyl, and that shit is awesome. That's how my, I, pa- that's how my th- parents died. <laughs> well, dude, I understand why hillbillies are killing themselves over it because that stuff is amazing. Did your parents really die with fentanyl? Yeah, they All did. right, that was a good interruption then. Because <laughs> <It was, you laughs> I had my lie about hillbillies I really wanted to get to. But, uh, dude, I, 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 that stuff's great. Yeah. It's, it felt like – I remember thinking, like, I would love to experience that again. Could you um, – I'm sorry, this is a dumb question, but did you could you feel yourself falling asleep, or you just you just woke up in the morning? You went the next time. Not I was morning, just, but when you, I was. I don't. I felt, I felt myself kind of dozing off, and then you're just like out like a lamp. You interesting. Know? And you try when, to fight it. No, because I see. I try to fight. Like I, I don't like the. I don't like the feeling of dozing off. 
it scares me. So like kind of, it's so like I've always tried to fight it. So like taking like a sleeping pill or anything like that, like f- like fucks with my head big time. Yeah, and that's why it's very scary for me. Sometimes and I also, that's how a man saw Kanye West's mom died. Really being put under. Oh well, I mean that's happened with people if they mm-hmm. don't have a good anesthesiologist or it's mm-hmm. they're you know don't know what they're doing. Um, There's a there was a, a Robert Downey commercial that goes like one in however many million people have a you know like a, a plane crash right, and I was like God, that's like. Uh, that, that made me be like, oh, yeah, it's so safe to fly. And he goes, one and whatever have this problem. And he goes, one in 1,200 have a problem being put under. I'm like, that's a small number. Like, that let's, is small. Like, let's not put that number out there. Like, Yeah, one in 1,200. 1,200 people. I mean, now I'm like, frightened. Yeah. I was saying I want to do that again because it felt so good. Now I don't think I want to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know what's weird? I remember the doctor talking to me as I was coming out of it. Like, when it was done, you're, they kind of, like, you know, get you out of it. And I remember him talking to me and I was just so fucking like, why are you telling me? I don't know where I am, what's going on. And before I knew it, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the room that I was in originally because uh-huh. like, you're in one room and then they wheel you into the other room. I don't remember being wheeled back. Really? So I think I might've been out that whole time. Yeah. So you say anything um, weird. Cause people like say some weird shit when they come out. I don't think I did. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it was one of those things where I just, you know, like I'm rapping or whatever. I've seen those videos. My dad viral. said to his mom once, I want to see those tits. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. God, your dad could party, huh? Yeah, he's a big uh, partier. Jesus Christ. No, I don't think I'll have to double check on my wife and then I'll let you guys know in the next podcast. But I don't think I say anything weird. I was very just like loopy and be like, where the fuck am I? And yeah. did he show me pictures? I don't know what the fuck. Where's the one nurse and what? Or this is is this the same room? Like I was just kind of like w- like trying to like track everything. Right. Uh, good news, no cancer, everyone. Hey. Yay, no cancer. Um, and you know I'm I'm more confident that. Uh, was that the concern? Was that really a? a yeah, that was a concern. I, mean, I guess it's always a concern. Yeah. but that's scary. Yeah. Sure. Do you think, or do you think, or do you think the doctor is really bad at breaking news? So he's like, I gotta tell this guy. I just don't know how yet. And a couple of days later, he hasn't told me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be male practice, I imagine. That'd be um, insane. Like, yeah, like, it's so. like a very shy doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just didn't know how to break it to you. You could have told me when I was dozed off, and then later been like, uh, "Duh, I told you. You don't remember that." Yeah, where you yeah. think you'd remember something like that? Yeah, where he's just like, "I don't think he remembers me telling him he has cancer." <laughs> that sounds like a Seinfeld, but doctors, right? Yeah. Like, how do I tell him again? It's kind of. Yeah, I don't want to tell him again. He seems to not remember. Uh, but I just thought it was weird. I remember thinking, like, you think I'd be like. They'd let you chill for a little while, and then how long were you? Like, what's the aftermath? It of takes like about a... half an hour to to do the test. Oh, that's the, it. Yeah. Okay. You know, um, but the, I mean, they're like, shoving a camera up your asshole and moving around with it. You know. So okay, when you woke up, you're like, I've been violated. No, you couldn't feel it. I, you couldn't. You couldn't feel. I couldn't feel a damn thing. So are you more like? Are you more leaning towards butt stuff now? No, because that was the thing you were against. Well, if I'm being put under fentanyl, you can play with my ass all you want. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Need some fentanyl, and then you could dig around in there. Sure, dig around in there. Sure, whatever you want to do. Not you, but someone I would like to be down there, which okay. I don't want anyone down there. I'm just not a butt guy. Are you a I, butt guy? To to me? No, yeah, God, like no. Butt, no, no. Ugh. I drink a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of damage down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think if you're out there and you're worried about it, everyone, don't be worried about it. The prep sucks. That's the bad part. The actual procedure, pretty much a piece of cake. I could say mm-hmm. that. Um, so yeah, well, well, the aftermath. There's like, there's no like, I got some slippery shits afterwards. I had, I had a weird poo later that day. Yeah. Um, but you know, what's a weird poo to you? Fucking weird. It was yellow in a weird shape. Yellow. Yeah. Joe, you, you should go to a doctor. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be. But it did. You know, I didn't have the best. Uh, there were some parts they couldn't see because apparently I didn't drink enough of the stuff, but I did. I'm like, I followed your fucking instructions. Yeah. How far you they know? show the thing up? So there? I have to go up. I have to go back for a colonoscopy in five years again. Oh, in five years. Okay. Yeah, unless I start. I thought you'd be like, I have to go back on Wednesday. I was like, damn, dude. No. Um, they know what the problem is. It's treatable. It's fixable. Um, but they. How would you feel right now if you got to, if you got a call from your doctor and they're like, hey, we left something up there. We gotta have you come back. <laughs> I I would be very alarmed by that. Would yeah. you be upset? Would you think it was funny, or would you be like, oh, whatever? All the above. All the know. above. All yeah. the above. Yeah, I'd be first angry, and yeah. then I'd be like, "What would you possibly leave on that?" It's not like it wasn't like a big surgery where they cut me open. You know what I mean? Where they leave a glove behind or a pair of scissors. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's okay. No, none of that's that. That okay. makes more sense. So to it you, would that make makes more sense. sense. It would make okay. more sense. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't think you th- something being left behind in your ass isn't going to be left behind for too long. Even like a ring. Do you think he's just fisted my? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I've noticed sometimes you ask questions where I'm like, oh, you, you don't think you literally don't like know anything about the subject? A little open. Well, obviously, I'm kidding. Yes, 
Uh, sure. Okay. I, I mean, I get that you're kidding. Was your wife in the room? No. Okay. She was there in the room beforehand. She wasn't in the actual room during the thing. Did they ask her, like, do you want to be in the room? Before? No, she's not allowed to be in the room before. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they don't let people. Mm. Yeah. I... Well, See, it's like your version of, like, having a baby, kind of. No, it's not. <laughs> it's 100% not my version of having a baby. Okay. It's different. And the reason the father's in there is... it's kind of the reverse? Because you want to be there for the birth of your child. You want to see that moment. Were you in the room? Yeah. For both of your kids? Yeah, of course. Were you... Um, do you want to talk about this? What do you want to ask? I, well, I think it's interesting. Were you like um, by like... Did I watch they come out? No. Yeah. Okay. I was up by her face. And when they had the baby, they showed me. I didn't want yeah. to be down there. They didn't have a... Cause I used to have a stand-up joke about this. Okay. Because yeah. sometimes they put a mirror there as well. So like that she can watch as yeah, well. Yeah, she didn't, didn't want to do see that, that either. Yeah. I kind of... Why would you want to watch Why your, would you want this, yeah. this is from freaking weird people Did you cut there. the cord? No. I wanted okay. no part of that. Yeah, I right? get real queasy. I would have passed out. All uh, right. Yeah. I didn't want anything to do with that shit. Did you eat it? No, I know some cultures. That's the thing. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, so I know you ask the silly questions, but there's no silly answers, though. That's the problem with some of the questions. Is like, did you eat it? Yeah, dude, it's fucking great, man. You put some gravy on that shit, it's delicious. <laughs> and then where do we go? And then we just exchange these barbs back and forth. And then I go, and then I go. Was it delicious? I don't know. I have to look that up. We have to ask uh, if you, any of the listeners if you've ever eaten placenta. Let us know. Um, is it tasty? It's probably rich in nutrients. Yeah. And cells. Yeah. Because I know they use it for, uh, what are they doing now with that stuff? Um, something cell. What's it called? Stem cell. Stem cell. Mm -hmm. There you go. Stem cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's pretty dope. Which you, you should get for moisturizer on your face. Stem, stem cells cell. on your face is really good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Because like, we need to talk about your... My pores are very visible. I got Your pores? I got you great pores. You think you have bad pores? I, don't, I think I have terrible pores. My older sister so? always tells me I have bad pores. Well, your older, your older sister's bitch. a dumb bitch. Though. <laughs> <laughs> we both said the same time. Like, you asshole. Uh, but yeah, man, it was uh, it was fucking an ordeal. Uh, there was there was a lot to be nervous about and all that. They don't let you drive home afterwards. That's why mm -hmm. you have to have someone with you. Because you're um, still kind of loopy. Yeah. 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 You definitely felt weak, and I couldn't wait to eat food. And I oh, really I what, I was, just, what was your first meal? I got an Italian beef and a slice of pizza from Mr. Beef. Nice. So I got like two big Chicago staples. Part of me was like, I got a freshly clean, cleansed out colon. It's a clean system. Maybe I should start by eating really good, healthy food. And then it was like, no, no, we we're dealing no. with Chicago traffic. And I'm like, fuck it. Let's get the sloppy stuff. Yeah. And then I could try to eat healthy. And then the rest of the night I ate healthy. And I've been eating kind of healthy. The funny thing is I ate, I couldn't even finish all that. I ate the, yeah, because you're I so ate, shrunk. Yeah. I ate most of the slice of pizza and like three quarters of the beef. And normally mm. I would fucking be hungry still after that, you right. know? And, uh, and then the rest of the night I wasn't hungry. I didn't really eat much the rest of that day. Yeah. And then I'm, I, I still don't feel fully which is a good thing. Okay. Yeah. You know? I mean, we we had like pigs at the United Center for the Bulls game last night. We did, wrong. but it was all free. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you know how we know it was free because Joe reminded us all the time about yeah, it. Yeah. Good old oh, Joe. From it's all free. So let me ask you a question, Joe. So speaking of food, so <clears throat> I'm doing a show Thursday, last show Thursday, right? And um, I'm about to be introduced on stage. It's kind of a small. It's a small room, fifty people, sold out show. So it's like it's packed. It's like you know, it's 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 bit it's, it's, it's there's a, not a lot of room. They're kind of in there. Right. And um, the music t gets turned down. That's right before you play like the opening music and before you get introduced. Right. And uh, the music gets turned down. So clearly everyone's like shows about ready to start. And all of a sudden I hear is uh, tamale. <laughs> tamale. Yeah. There is. So in Chicago, there's a tamale guy and that guy go, he will go through bars and he has like a, like a little um, like uh, a Coleman cooler full of yeah, tamales. Yeah. He sells it. And like, you know, it's, it's, it's a very welcoming thing to People hear. People like it. Yeah. Except for when you're being introduced on stage. I know. So I went on stage, and while they and I, I well, first off that happened, I go and I look at my my partner, and I was just like, I was like, is that guy in this fucking room right now? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, we're starting this. I have to go on stage. How do you get in without a ticket? How do you get in without a ticket? Yeah. So we go in, and then I, I'm like, I'm like, start. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And the, you know, the guy doesn't speak English, so he's just, you know. But the whole crowd turns on me. Right. And they're like, let this guy make money. I'm like, he's ruining the show for you, too, because it's starting like this. And we work really hard. So the, the crowd kind of turned on me a little bit. Um, and I know he's just trying to make money. It's not he doesn't know better because he has no stand up. But like, am I wrong or is he wrong? Who's wrong? In no, this? Uh, you're wrong. No, no, I'm no. Wrong. Sorry. No, no, no. He's wrong. <laughs> OK, sorry. sorry. He's okay. so used to saying you're wrong. Yeah, uh, no, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, no, he's wrong. And I've seen him do this before. 
Um, it's one of those in things the middle where it's of like, show. You can't do it. Five minutes walk before, into don't a give show. a shit. It's like the show is starting. And I've seen him do it at open mics. I've never seen him do it at a real show. Yeah. So who's ever watching the door fucked up? It's the craziest Someone thing that's ever happened. Someone needs to watch the door when the ha- show starts I know. because what if people are coming in late? They right. You have to be like, hey, sit Well, that's the thing is we had interns and they didn't know better. Wow, well, you got to fire them, man. I know. I wanted Name to. Them. They're done. I know. They'll send their careers on this I know, but it's like right they're, so, they're not comedians, okay. so they didn't know better. Ah, it's all good then. But it's also like, what the fuck is going on here? Well, it's And then the whole room smelled like tamales the whole time. It's a fucked up position to be in because you can't turn on the tamale guy in this town. No. Uh, that guy could do no wrong. No. And this is tamale guy I mean, number yes. two. The original tamale guy, I think, retired. Well, he got fucked him. over by his partners. Did he? He, op- he? So right now we are in West Town, Chicago. He opened up his own. He had two partners. Uh, and this is a story that I don't, I don't know if it's 100% true. The same guy that almost died of COVID too, right? Yes. Yeah. So supposedly he opened up a brick and mortar a few blocks away from here. Um, and his partner somehow fucked him over, which is terrible. It sucks. It sucks. They fucked him over, and then you're drinking, so I'm talking. So I, I also didn't need to say it out loud. He didn't need to call it out. That's I know. why I drank because you were talking. I know. I just wanted to. That's fine. <laughs> um, uh, but then he he has partnerships with a couple um a couple of restaurants, which is good. But yeah, the That's guy good. got fucked over. But I it, 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 is it the same tamale guy? Because the guy seems like he's everywhere. Or does he have a team? I think there's a few of them, though. But I've seen this guy a lot lately. But I know he's not the guy I'd seen forever. It's crazy. Those tamales taste better than any tamale I've ever had at well, a restaurant. You're drunk, too. They are True. great. They are great. Yeah. But you are getting hit at the right time. Exactly. Because he, they show up to bars that don't serve food. This comedy club that we're performing at mm-hmm. doesn't serve food. What's your favorite drunk place to eat? Um, I don't know, man. There's not. A, here's what the thing. What tastes the best drunk? Taco Bell? No, what tastes the best drunk is breakfast food. Really? French toast, you pancakes, so? scrambled eggs, like hash browns. That's what I want. Bacon, sausage links, uh-huh. breakfast food, I think tastes the best when you're drunk. Yeah. And I'm pissed off at this city because Chicago used to have these wonderful places called diners that would stay open real late at night. And they're not around anymore. There's less and less of them. You're laughing, but the one popular one was Hollywood Grill. Hollywood Grill went from being 24 hours before COVID. Is that Since COVID, No, it's anymore? 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. now. 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. What are you doing? You're Dude, the him. number of places you could go to to get late night, like I'm talking about like midnight, 1 a.m. Yeah. or whatever, is shrinking Just every all the now. time. And it sucks, man. And that's why I think New York's, I think I, Chicago's my favorite city, but New York is a better city. Because every time I go to New York, everything's open at all time of hour and whenever you want. That's why I think New York is statistically safer city than Chicago. Because when everyone's outside and out and about and doing mm. things, there's going to be less crime because there's more eyeballs watching shit. Uh-huh. Chicago's become one of those cities that's closing earlier. So when you're one of the few people walking out, you're fucking prey, dude. Yeah. People are sitting in their car going, look at this dumb fucker walking by himself. I'm going to yeah. go rob his ass, you know? So That's what I do when I rob people, you know? I find the one dumb ass walking. I, what? Never mind. Go is ahead, Is that what Jonah. you do? No. That's what you do. No. Teach me. No. So. For the Patreon. Daddy, Jonah, got a little drunk a couple weeks ago. And my new thing is, as I a ordered. A couple weeks ago? You got but, drunk last night and you got drunk fucking Friday. You know, I know you're drunk Friday because we did a show together Friday. And the next day you texted me like, so we're getting together this day. And I'm like, oh, you forgot everything we fucking talked about. Yeah. 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 Anyway, go ahead. But again, this is why uh, you should always tell me secrets because I won't remember them. Nice. Yeah. Uh, especially when I, if I'm drinking, tell me a secret. I'm not going to remember it at all. Like okay. if you need to get it off your chest, perfect time. Because the next day you're going to be like, remember that? I go, I don't remember shit. So anyways, uh, this was uh, a couple weeks ago because I got home after a show, was pretty drunk, ordered Taco Bell, fell asleep on the couch. And this is, and I just moved into this new building with a HOA, so there's like eight buildings, there's like eight units. And they all hate me because there are so many times that somebody's opened the door and there's been just a bag of Taco Bell sitting out there. <laughs> and this time there was, and it's, okay, Chicago, winter, 30 degrees out. This motherfucker puts my Taco Bell inside the house because they didn't, I think because they didn't want it to get stolen, but I'm like, now it's bad. Before it was cold in the outside refrigerator mm-hmm. and now it's inside and it's lukewarm. I still ate it, but it's like, yeah. it's... Taco Bell's up there for me, by the way. Any kind of Mexican food. I just turned drunk. 41 years old and I'm still doing that. that good things never die. It's one of those Legends things, never die. It's Yes, like Sandlot. And it's one of those things like in the, like when you realize that a whole building hates you. <laughs> I'm, I'd be fine with it. It's not like you want to hang out with any of these people anyway. I don't. They they probably listen. Hey, but hey, yeah, I don't like them at all. I don't know them at yeah, all. I, I doubt they're listening to it. By the way, they'd be something else. You they look me up, putting shit underneath the fucking their door. Check out my new podcast. I should do flyers. That. <laughs> yes, flyers. Yeah, yeah. You should give them all Taco Bell gift cards as a joke for like Christmas. I do want to have a Taco Bell. I've talked about this on the podcast, but I want to have a Taco Bell bar crawl. We should. The Taco Bell Cantina bar. It'll be the Let's Get Done bar crawl. We should set that up in like fucking June or something like that, man. Right. Definitely for the summer. So everyone's walking around. 
producer Austin around. Um, we have got a, this is going to be a tight one. This shorter week, one. Guys. We have to do a shorter one. Um, I have to go to a show. Uh, we wanted to get the, the colonoscopy episode recap for you. Next week, we're going to have a guest. We already talked to one comedian, remember? I actually won't remember. You were drunk. Matty Ryan? Was last night? Matty oh, Ryan. yeah. yeah, we'll yeah. Talk, I do remember that. Him. I remember the conversation. Talk to him about getting on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a guest down and stuff like that. I also got a couple of fun segments that I've written down that I want to bust out. I don't want to rush them into this episode. Mm-hmm. This is just a real quick wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Uh, you know, how's your mother type of episode? So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. any, anything else you want to get off your chest there, Jonah? You your big barrel chest? Cool playing Hollywood shirt, by the way. Thanks. I just got cool. in the mail today. Cool hat too, man. Yeah, I changed the hat because you yelled at me last time. I don't like the White Sox. I know. So. It's okay. It's all right. That's not where you're from. What's going on, Austin? Are you getting our attention? Yeah, I had something for Joe. What's yeah. up, my man? Um, how, what are your thoughts on the World Cup stadiums and that Chicago got none? I'm I'm very pissed that Chicago's not getting any World they Cup fu- games, They fucked man. up, don't you think? Totally fucked up. Right, um, go ahead. You, you got, uh, what, the Giants stadium for in... The Jersey's York- hosting the final. Yeah. Isn't that Jer- wild? <laughs> I honestly, I want to get this off my chest too. A lot of sports teams are like, they go by the New York Giants, New York Jets. They play in New Jersey. And I, I'm against that. You should be called the New Jersey Giants, New, New Jersey Jets. You are where you're, you're playing. And if you play in a suburb, guess what? You go by the suburb. You're the Santa Clarita or the Santa Clara 49ers. That's how that shit should go. And if those teams are like, no, we don't like that, well, then fucking move to the city proper that you're in. You I the, don't like that shit. How do you feel about the Bears moving, though? If the Bears move to Arlington Heights, I'm not calling them the Chicago Bears anymore. Yeah. They will be the Arlington Heights Bears. The age Bears. That's how that goes. Yeah. And some people are like, well, it's for the market. I'm like, no, fuck that. You left the city. You're trying to be one of those cool kids pretending that you're from a city when you're not from that fucking city. Yeah. Be proud of the suburb you're from. I got nothing against the verbs. I have something against people who are from the verbs who pretend like they're from the city, though. Mm-hmm. Be honest. Admit where you're fucking from. That's my, that's my big point about that. And I, I just have to say it. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, there's, they they fucked up with the World Cup though. Chicago should be hosting some shit. You know what I mean? We got it's. Well, they had that qualifier with like Puerto Rico and that other, like last year they had that, yeah. and the whole street was shut down. Can you imagine a World Cup, even in the now the now arena or anywhere around anywhere. here? Oh my god! It's it's just. A, but thank God Kansas City got one. I know Kansas City, Jersey. I just don't Seattle, know who's in charge of that. Boston got one. I'm like, Ugh. I mean, Seattle and Boston doesn't bother me as much as Kansas City. Does Kansas City have a big soccer fan base? I don't realize. I don't know. Atlanta I mean, also. I almost yeah. wonder if uh, these teams or owners of these arenas bribed some people to get their games they there. They just have cool stadiums. Like the Arrowhead cool. Stadium's cool, so they're gonna go. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Not a single one in Ohio. Also, they have a huge soccer market. Yeah, Columbus. Columbus and Cincinnati is huge too. Because it was well, they only have professional soccer and hockey in Columbus. Football, everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been calling soccer football now, pissing oh. off my American friends. Oh, it should you. be called football. Sorry, let's listen, fellow Americans. It should be called football. They use their feet the whole fucking time. Our football, we don't use our feet. We call very it much. handball. No, I would. You know, what American football should be called what? Tackle ball or smash ball would be better because you want to smash the person with the ball. It sounds juvenile, I guess, but like. But why does football uh, sound cool? Oblong ball, ball? It doesn't have to be the shape of the ball, dude. And it's more oval than oblong. It's more I think it's just yeah. come with a different word. Like hockey is not called hockey puck or hockey ball. It's just hockey. Yeah, the sports hockey, you play with the puck. Good yeah, point. Yeah, just, just call it hockey. Where Literally, does hockey come from? I'm sure it's a stupid Canadian slang. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I don't yeah. know. I have to look into the research. I have to research where, where hockey comes from. Like basketball makes sense. Yeah, because it's all started with a basket. Well, it ball, started with like an actual yeah. basket. Baseball, you hit the ball, you go to a base. Pigskin. That's what I thought. That's what pig I thought. Skin. That's what I said. Pigskin's like, pretty dope. It's not called rugby ball. It's just rugby. Yeah, let's play some pigskin. I've heard yeah. people say let's throw around the pigskin. We had Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Totally me and you. Joan had nothing to do with that. I think we just call it CTE. More accurate. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's be honest about what it is, right? But yeah, I'm against. Uh, I think the rest of the world got this one right. What's your thoughts on Vix McMahon? Shitting on people's chests. I'm, my thoughts are: Let's save that awesome. for next week's episode, shit everybody. He shit on her goddamn head. All right, we'll talk about Vince McMahon next week and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, we also shout out to Chad McDaniel and David Flynn. They both hit us up. They want oh, yeah. uh, they want a Blu-ray of uh, fucking. Oh yeah, we gotta sign that. Yeah, they wanna, we got it signed. They yeah. both hit me up right after last week's episode. They want a signed copy. Oh, hell of that. yeah, hell so yeah. We got you guys. And we, we had a, we had a cut. We had a, a couple fans that came to the Black Hot Diaries last Friday. I want to say a big shout out and thank you to them that came. Oh nice. Yes. Was you I on the show last Friday? Yeah, you were too drunk to remember. That's when we had the conversation. That was too drunk to remember. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Gina. Talking about Gina? Yeah. Yeah. And her friend who I forgot her name, but she was very nice. Very nice. 
forgot her name. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Speak. All right. Thanks, everybody, for checking out Let's Get Done. Listen to past episodes. Check out the YouTube. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for the support. Cheers.